February 12th, uh, 2016, I was praying in the spirit with my spiritual leader, Apostle James, and I saw a couple visions. Um, I've extensively prayed that these are the truth um, of the Holy Spirit, and I have delayed the posting of these visions to the point that I'm in disobedience if I do not post them. I had a prophecy over me last week that if people think I'm crazy, then I'm talking to the wrong people. So you can unfollow me if you want to. I will not be offended. Um, first, we be began praying together in the Spirit. Um... I had my eyes closed, and I saw the planet Nerubu. Uh, this is a planet that I've known the existence of since I was a child, but was skeptical because I just wanted to be normal. And I didn't want these visions. The Holy Spirit showed it to me again. Um, showed it to me again. Uh, a couple days later, uh, the second time I saw it, uh, with my eyes closed and wide awake, it was much closer. And it so it leads me to believe that it's coming closer and closer and closer to us. I also saw that this was on the right side of the sun from my perspective. Um, and I live on the east coast of the United States. I also saw a round orb like thing come out of the sun or maybe through it. Um, it looked like the pictures uh, that were recorded by Soho satellite. Uh, but I saw this before I ever saw these pictures. This orb that came off the sun or through it was hollow like, as in the pictures. Um, and I will post, uh, one of those pictures so that you can see it. Um, it was sparkly it, it, and it had a bluish, uh, white light looking like a geode stone, just sparkly and beautiful and an opening to somewhere else. The light that came off of it was blue white. And this orb traveled rather quickly to the earth, to the west of me. By this time, I had my eyes wide open and was seeing into the spiritual realm. Um, the light that came off it was blue-white, and it, it traveled to the west of me. The Holy Spirit told me that this was a portal for the angels to increase the ranks. Um, angels were gearing up for warfare. Uh, angels were uh, popping out of the, the portal. And they're uh, getting ready ahead of time to prepare for battle. This was not the first time uh, the Soho satellite recorded those uh on several occasions the same image um as james was praying in tongues over me the spirit led me to walk outside um huh, yeah the temperature outside was like 20 20 some degrees 26 degrees Fahrenheit, and that is minus five degrees Celsius. I only had on a really thin nightgown and sock feet. Um, I, uh, I don't know how to say this. Um, I felt like 
I was going out of my body, but I wasn't. I still, I was, I stepped outside in this cold weather and a, a sweet wind washed over me, over my face. And it wasn't cold at all. Not a bit of cold touched me. I did not see my breath or feel the wet of the snow under my sock feet. My socks didn't even get wet. It was like a summer evening. I felt comfort and peace in my spirit. Unbelievable. This was real. I was not dreaming this. I still had the phone in my right hand. And as Apostle James was speaking in tongues in my ear, uh, looking towards the setting sun, where the orb had, where the orb had uh, come down somewhere in the west, I saw the angel Michael. Uh, he tipped his huge head towards me in acknowledgement of, or even perhaps, a greeting. He was leading the angels that were pouring out of the portal. He was leading the angel replacements. Or the re angel reinforcements gearing up for a battle. I looked down to his wings were beautiful. His armor was the color of worn brass. He was a fierce looking angel. War seasoned. This is this is serious. I looked down to return the gesture of tipping my head just like he did. But when I looked up, all I saw was the setting sun in the clouds. And as Apostle finished his prayers, I went inside. It was, I wasn't cold. My feet were not wet. And I looked at the temperature outside in amazement. The Holy Spirit told me that reinforcements are on their way, not to fear. Do not falter. Do not grow weary of doing good. Stand. Continue to stand. Continue to prepare. Continue, continue, continue. Uh, 410, I went to the front of my church this morning for prayer. And um, they were praying for activation of any prophecy that was said over me or over anyone. And so I went up. Uh, I held my pastor's hand. He knows little about me at this point um, because I, I was fairly new to the church. And before I even went up there, I prayed to God to give me discernment, to know that what was spoken over me was the truth. Uh, you know, I don't want somebody speaking stuff over to me that is not the truth. Um, so before um, he said a word, <clears throat> God kept saying incense to me, incense. I even smelled it in the spiritual realm, incense. And then he took my hands and he turned them over so the palms were facing up. And he formed them. He formed them even like uh, I was cupping something in my hands. He said that I go into the throne room of God and I collect the incense. Wow, the minute he said that, I knew that this was true, that this was from God. That was confirmation. He said that I'm like a messenger. I go back and forth to the throne room of God 
with this incense, and I carry it to the heads of God's army from God. Um, I immediately pictured James um, because I've been bringing my visions to him, Apostle James. Um, but there's others, there's other watchmen that I have been bringing my um, visions and messages to. Um, so anyway, my pastor went on to say that God gives me his battle plans to bring back. But these plans, these plans are way above my head, way above my head. He told me not to try to interpret what information I'm given um, because I won't be able to even wrap this around my head. He said others will do that. He said, my pastor said not to think too much about it, um, about the information that's given to me. Don't try to rationalize it. Um, if I try to rationalize it in my mind, um, you know, it, it, it's, it's not for me to do. That what I am given, no matter how crazy it seems, I need to tell it as it is. Um, So, and then he went on to say that my prayers are very powerful, that they are like a brick thrown into the throne room of God. And God is using these bricks to build on. He says that my worship brings the throne room into the room wherever I'm worshiping and activates other people's anointings. The pastor also says that through my worship, Others will heal thousands and prophets will prophesy. Um, then him and the deacons of the church prayed to release these anointings and strengthen and protect them. Um, as I was headed back to my seat, they told me that I better start writing those worship songs. Um, it had been prophesied over me a, a couple years ago that I would write worship songs that millions would sing. Um, so they said for me to start writing those worship songs. Um, Four fourteen, uh, 2016, um, I had a dream that seemed very prophetic. Um, there was water and wind coming in and I was, uh, with a group of people. It was like a, um, hurricane and the colors in this vision were very, well, and the colors in this dream were very weird. They were like reds and orange and pinks kind of just weird colors. Um, so I was with a group of people and the wind and water first washed in little bits of debris that was easily avoided. I mean, they were, the debris was coming way up onto shore and, um, then the debris was huge and killed people, boats and buildings. And, and then lightning started up and this lightning was very blue and blue white light. Uh, it was so powerful that it was grabbing people like long fingers and killing them all the while. I was just running around chasing a cute, cuddly little rabbit and ignoring the goings-on around me. And then I was grabbed up by the lightning. These visions will be continued on.